Thanks so much to Squarespace for sponsoring my art channel. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence for your business. Hello, welcome to my art channel, Cosmic Spectrum Art. And here you are and here I am back after three weeks of total absence, which was completely unplanned, but I will explain what's happening right now and give you guys a little update on what I'm up to. And before I get to that, I'm just gonna explain what this video is. Uh, so I was feeling extremely rusty and just super scatterbrained and unmotivated uh, about a week ago and I needed to jump back into work somehow. So I thought a good way of doing that would be to pick up something that's really fun and related to my characters so I can like slowly ease my way back into working on my comic related stuff. And so I randomly came across some uh, hairstyle memes uh, while I was browsing Pinterest or something like that. And I decided to just do that myself because I've always wanted to do one of these hairstyle memes. And you guys know how much I just adore drawing hair. So that is how I decided to do this meme. And because I am completely extra, I decided to actually make my own template for this because I really like the scrapbooking aesthetic and all the templates that I found on the search were like super I don't know they were just like super utilitarian and a little too plain for my liking so I went ahead and made my own little scrapbook themed um meme and or meme template and so Oh yeah, before um, I continue, I want to mention that I did put up the PSD version of this on my Patreon and my Patreon is the place where I will become more active going forward, I promise. <laughs> but anyways, so here we are. Obviously the first character I chose to do was Heijin and I am planning to do some other of my characters from Gloaming Vale and yeah, I don't know how quickly that's gonna happen, but you know, I'm probably just gonna use this meme to like get back into things or do warm-ups and whatnot over the next few weeks but yes uh in this video i'm just going to show you the whole process of this obviously because it's nine little individual drawings i've skipped over quite a bit of the process but i still think it's pretty concise and like you know i take you through every single step and i'm not going to talk much about the process itself i might talk about that in a future video um with the same technique or like doing the same meme but in this video i just wanted to catch up with you guys and let you know what i've been up to over the past three weeks or like almost a month at this point since i last posted a video so i'm just gonna jump right into that uh as some of you guys know i mentioned a bunch of times that i'm moving soon and the move has transpired three or two and a half weeks ago it was a lot. It was a lot more uh, tiring and hectic and kind of just like chaotic than I expected. And honestly, now that it's been a couple of weeks, I can say that it took me completely off the rails <laughs> when it comes to my plans, my work, like everything that I was doing, which I did not expect at all, which is why here I am scrambling with what's going to be a bunch of videos at the very end of the month because um yeah the move itself went pretty well uh i didn't expect it to go super smoothly and we ended up having to make two trips and honestly before i get into details of how the move went i just wanted to say that i did want to make a vlog about the move and i took some footage it's unfortunately really sparse now that i looked back at it so i decided to lump it into another vlog that i'm planning to do which will be uh, concerning renovating slash um just giving like a glow up to my studio space room and i yeah i think i'm just gonna merge those two vlogs into one because Honestly, there's just like so little footage that I took from the moving day or like the time coming um, leading up to the move itself that I think I should just join them together into one. And hopefully now that I know where I really fell short, which is, you know, complete lack of footage on the moving related vlog, I, I kind of have a loose plan in my mind for what footage I actually need in order to make a better vlog for um, re redoing my studio space 
and I will take that a lot more seriously and that's coming down the pipeline. But for now, I'm just gonna share this video that I have, which is of the most recent drawing that I did of this hairstyle meme. And I will definitely let you guys know whenever I'm closer to finishing my studio space, which takes me to the next point. Before I continue, I'm just gonna tell you real quick about today's sponsor, Scratchface. Branding is super important to me as a freelance illustrator. I like to keep my branding relevant to my current work, so I recently decided to update my logo, but I have two different versions of it that I like. While updating my website today, I actually discovered that I can just add a secondary logo image to the navigation sidebar, which I didn't know that I could do. I also included information about the next show that I will be exhibiting at below the secondary logo, and this only took me about a couple of minutes. I was able to easily adjust the sidebar settings from fixed to scrollable to make sure that the info is visible on smaller laptop screens. I might move this information to another part of the website later, and this is what I like so much about Squarespace. It's intuitive, easy to use, and is super quick so I can make changes whenever I want to in no time. If you are looking for a platform to build a website of your own, please check out Squarespace. You can head over to squarespace.com if you want to try it out for free and design your own portfolio site. When you're ready to launch, you can head to squarespace.com slash cosmic spectrum art and get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Again, that's squarespace.com slash cosmic spectrum art. And now back to the video. So basically, I have never actually had a studio space before. Every time I've moved, which was quite a few times over the last 20 or so years, um, starting with the big move from Russia to Canada 20 something years ago, 22 years ago or something. Um, I've always had, like, first of all, I didn't even have a room for a while there at first. And then when I did, it was always a small room and a large portion of it was taken up on my bed. And so it was very easy to kind of situate the table and any other little furniture that I had uh, to organize a desk scenario to make it workable and basically make it make sense within the space that I had. And it's something that I've never even thought about before, but because the bed was the biggest object in the room, everything else just kind of fell around it. And it was th therefore pretty quick and easy for me to unpack and organize my stuff, which is what I've done like a million times before. But this is a completely different scenario where I have an entire room to myself and it is pretty big it's not like a gigantic studio space or anything like that, but this is definitely the biggest room I've ever had personally. And obviously there's no bed in it. So now I'm like in this conundrum trying to figure out what to do. And the first thing that I wanted to take care of was giving it a little bit of a refresher for the walls. Like the walls are just, I think they're like white. I don't know, maybe they're slightly, they're just like some sort of off white color. And I wanted to take this opportunity to make a room that is beautiful, that I really want to be in every day. And so I went and did a bunch of research and I came up with this idea of what I want my studio room to look like. And now I'm just playing the waiting game because I ordered a bunch of stuff online that I need to make it happen. And yeah, now I, ever since I ordered the stuff, which was like pretty early on in May, I, now I'm just like stuck in this no man's land situation where I can't really unpack. I can't, like there's a bunch of stuff I can't do. And most of my art related stuff is still in boxes. And I feel like my brain is still also packed into those boxes. So I can't seem to get a foothold of um, being really productive or like i completely lost my beat you guys because i feel like i was on a pretty decent roll in terms of getting things done for the past few months but now i have been knocked completely off and i am more or less just waiting to set up my studio before i can really really organize my thoughts and my project and start executing them properly uh, one of the reasons why I haven't been able to do much traditionally is, like I mentioned, because most of my stuff is packed up. And 
so the previous place i lived in the condo um there was a lot of built-in furniture that was along the walls that um, my brother who lived in the condo before me uh, made and i really really utilized that space for storage of so many of my useful things that i needed every day at a hand's reach um to work and now that all that's been left behind i'm kind of at a loss of what to do and how to organize the space and what kind of um storage or organization cabinets to get and because also the room that i picked well i only had a limited choice and basically it's like a it's, it's an attic room or like the top floor room and the ceiling is like an attic ceiling so it's um you know it's like a bracket shape or whatever I don't know what the shape is called but the walls therefore are very low on both sides of the room and so i'm kind of in a conundrum as far as what to do with shelving because i can't put shelves that high like i i don't even know if i can put shelves above my desks at all so yeah i've been just stuck in this limbo trying to figure out what kind of storage to get for um the studio space and so my stuff's still packed i still haven't been able to do anything traditional really i guess i could pull out my sketchbook and do something simple but yeah my my brain works in this strange way where it's actually like really difficult for me to get uh to like to adjust to chaotic circumstances i guess i mean i think this is honestly like pretty common for people to have this issue but slowly hopefully i will overcome it but i also have a bunch of stuff that i ordered coming in pretty soon so hopefully this chaos stage won't last that much longer for me and yeah this is ha this has been a totally crazy experience because like i've mentioned before too i have never lived in a house before and i had no idea that it's gonna be so much work i mean i haven't even really done that much work yet but because it is um it's an older house and obviously it's not brand new and i wanted to change some stuff around uh i love the house by the way it's everything that i've wanted for sure but there are some changes that i want to make and so my studio is definitely not the only place that's in total limbo like chaos situation uh, it's the exact same thing with most of the other rooms uh and the living room so the only place that is pretty much good to go that like requires no changes and is pretty much set up and finished is the kitchen and maybe like the bathroom on the second floor and that's it everywhere else needs to get something done or is missing a bunch of furniture or is in a really type of like temporary um set up currently and that whole like that the whole the situation as a whole has kind of thrown my brain into chaos especially since i'm kind of tasked with picking uh the colors for painting the walls and such and like i have to decide on what direction to go into as far as the decor goes because most of the furniture is missing since the condo was so tiny like we hardly brought anything with us and i am just completely overwhelmed like i don't even know where to start obviously i have to think about one room at a time but yeah it's been it's been really crazy my brain just goes into short circuit mode every time i try to like take in all the things that i have to figure out as a whole and so the first thing that i'm really focusing on of course is my studio so that i can just kind of get that done and then focus on work at least and then i'll open up time little by little to tackle the other rooms around the house but yeah i'm starting to see it's gonna be probably a while before it resembles like a finished dwelling type of situation and that's okay like things don't have to happen right away um when i think about it the condo where i lived was actually in kind of like this transient situation for a while as well especially when i was living there on my own i did not do much like i only set up just enough stuff to guarantee that i can work comfortably <laughs> and otherwise it was a pretty barren type of place um so yeah it's gonna it's gonna take a little while and i do want to make some vlogs i'm really excited about having the freedom uh to 
kind of make the place my own or the place our own. I mean, my husband is, he's really receptive to my ideas. He doesn't really want to contribute too much as far as the decor choices go. So I think it's kind of up to me for the most part, which is fine because I am much, much pickier when it comes to stuff like that. But yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take some time and I'm glad that I'm finally able to sit down and focus enough to actually like make some videos, which was becoming a dire situation for me. <laughs> and there's probably going to be another video coming up like really quickly because I have spent all the time doing all the stuff around the house and trying to settle in. And unfortunately, I am pretty late with this video. I am on a schedule and I am completely off that schedule. So hopefully I'll be able to catch up just in time before the end of the month but hopefully next month will be much more relaxed and organized and i will hopefully be able to keep up with my schedule and speaking of schedule i have a little bit of a conundrum with what else is happening on the work front with me but i'm gonna tell you about that uh, about that in my next video guys because this one is about to come to an end but yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that i am very happy even though i'm really scatterbrained but i am slowly working my way towards a regular schedule and getting back into working on gloaming veil super soon i have been working towards this for a long time and i'm happy that it's finally happening and this was a huge step so thank you guys for keeping me company on this journey and i will keep you updated all right i'll see you in the next video bye